you have so many fans and you have over a million followers on Twitter. And I wonder, someone who has over a million followers on Twitter, what is that like? When you turn your phone on, do you ever actually just sit down and scroll through the tweets? And mm -hmm. do you get to read any of them or do you not even manage that stuff? I do manage it, sometimes quite poorly, <laughs> admittedly. <laughs> but um, it depends. I think w when I put out a song or a video, then I... I really love to look at what people are writing uh, because I like to see what my fans think and kind of enjoy it with them and share the moment. But on a regular day, to be honest, I, I try not to look because sometimes it can just ruin your day. It's depressing, right? To see just that one negative tweet out of the 70,000 yeah, really positive ones. Human nature is, is funny how we are attracted to certain things. <laughs> I want to ask you about a tweet that you sent out recently. Mm -hmm. You addressed your haters. You said, my just haters. remember... While you're all at home online cracking jokes about artists, etc., most of you have done nothing with your lives, <laughs> which true. is actually, yeah, that is true. <laughs> now, I want to know why even give your haters that attention? Did it bother you so much that yeah, you had to? Evidently, it did. Yeah, you just had to call them out and say, go screw yourself? Uh, I just think it's funny sometimes how we can, um, we can take on the character of maybe the people that we idolize, and sometimes we forget that uh, those achievements aren't actually your achievements. So I kind of find it really ironic when I see 12-year-olds uh, tweet me and being like, you suck, we have a number one, and I'm sort of like, you, you don't have a number one. Your favorite artist does, <laughs> but you're 12, <laughs> writing this from your mom's computer. And you should remember that uh, because it takes a lot of work to kind of do anything, as you'll see as you get older, uh, kids. And so I think, I don't know, that in some respect for me, I, I always respect it uh, even if I don't necessarily like something, kind of how much work it takes. So sometimes, yeah, it can be incredibly frustrating.